In this video, we're going to be learning how we can utilize the position fixed property in CSS. So in the last video, we have the sticky and this time the fixed. We're going to be implementing like this over here, the one that you see at the side of this example. As you can see in the definition, the fixed property in CSS allows any element to stay on the same place even when the page is scrolled. So our example is going to be a list of social media icons that you can place in your web application like this, uh, maybe for YouTube, Instagram, or other social media websites. And these icons, we're going to be utilizing CDN or Content Delivery Network, uh, like cdngs.com. It is a content delivery network that hosts open source libraries for web development. And it allows developers to quickly include JavaScript, CSS, and other web libraries. In our example, we're going to be utilizing font awesome icons. And that is how we will be able to render and display these types of icons. And although they are icons, they can actually be formatted just like a regular font. So let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing that we are going to do is head over to cdngs.com and in the search bar for this website, we can search for font awesome and you will be able to see this right over here. So just click this copy URL icon and what we're going to do is create a new link tag right above our styles that says is link. So we type link over here. And inside the href attribute, we paste or press control V on the keyboard and it will paste the link to this CSS file that is located in the domain or server of CDNGS. So let's save this. And once we have that, uh, notice this version of font awesome, that's 6.5.2. What we can do is we can search for that versions of font awesome and you will see this link over here so just click on it and this one will allow us to uh, determine the link over here what version are we going to be using so 6.5.2 let me go ahead and minimize that and there it is this happens to be the latest version so if in case you are using an older version uh, you can also find it here. As you can see, we have here 5.15 uh, version of Font Awesome, uh, even older versions as well. So since we are using this one, we can go ahead and click this free icons right over here. Just click on it. And for example, right here, this one, or you can search, for example, YouTube. Uh, you can search it here and you will be able to find these two uh, options. I'm going to click the first one and it will route us to this page. As you can see, this is an HTML code. Once you click on it, it will automatically be on the clipboard. That means you have copied it and you can head over to our project over here. And for now, just for demonstration purposes, I will place it here. So I'm going to Control V to paste, save our work. We're going to right click here and open with live server to see how it would look like on the page. And as you can see, if I'm going to zoom in, we do have that icons right there for YouTube. And as you can see, we have a class attribute here. You can actually go ahead and copy this. And anywhere here in our CSS file, uh, we can target that. Maybe we can uh, assign a color value of, for example, red, semicolon here, save our work. And we are able to color that as red. So although this one looks like an icon or a graphics, this is actually behaves like a font. We can work with it like a regular font. Coloring, uh, you can even like adjust the size, for example, a uh, font size, and let's say 36, 36 pixels, save our work, and we have a bigger uh, rendering of these graphics. So that's it for the font awesome, but uh, we're not gonna be doing it here. Uh, what we're going to do is place or create a uh, div over here at the bottom. And uh, we want our icons to be clickable, our social media icons to be clickable. 
So we are going to wrap it with an anchor tag. And the one that we have copied from Font Awesome, we are going to paste it over here. All right, so let me just fix the spacing. And of course, for the uh, href, this is where you type your URL. So for now, I'll just type here youtube.com. Uh, and if I'm going to save this, we will be able to see it right over here at the bottom of the page, like so. And for our div, we are going to assign uh, a class attribute here of social media so we can format this in CSS. Let's go ahead and copy this. Let's head over to styles.css and uh, let's go ahead and delete this one first. We don't need this for now. And we're going to scroll down here all the way to the bottom and type period, paste in the name of our class. And here we will be able to format. Let me go ahead and place it here so that we can see exactly what's happening on the page. So right now our font awesome icon is over here. And, but we are formatting the div that's surrounding that icon. So maybe we can go ahead and si assign first a background color for this div, uh, maybe a dark gray like this. And uh, there you have it. And we are going to assign a font size of 24 pixels to make it a little bit bigger. And I think we can now go ahead and assign the position fixed so that uh, we will always see this and we don't have to scroll down while working. So position fixed and just like relative and absolute, once we have used a position here, we can now go ahead and uh, utilize top, bottom, left and right properties. So for this one, uh, we are going to set its right position to zero, okay? And the top position uh, let's try first uh, 50 percent because we want it to be here at the middle and i think that's good uh, you can adjust it to 40 percent if you want oops hold on let me just correct this one so 40 percent and we have something like that and for the color for this font uh, although we know that we can utilize this class attribute since we are now wrapping that with an anchor tag we can just go ahead and say social media and then anchor tag and we can set the or assign the color for that font or for that icon uh, into something like uh, uh, a brighter color and there you have it so for this anchor tag we can set a margin and padding maybe a margin of top and bottom 10 pixels left and right 5 pixels and in order for our anchor tag to respect the top and bottom margin and padding we are going to uh, set the display property to inline block. Save our work and we have something like that. So aside from YouTube, we can head over back to the Font Awesome website. Maybe, uh, for example, Instagram. And we should be able to see something like this. Uh, let's click this one again to copy. Head over back to our index.html. Uh, type an anchor tag here and paste the... Uh, font awesome html code and uh, so save our work and let's head over back to our uh, website over here and we have something like that and if you don't like that icon you can actually choose the other one i think the other one is better uh, so let me click this click this one to copy uh, go to our project and replace this uh, tag with that and we have that icon i think this one is better so you can have Facebook over here or maybe Telegram and uh, we will be able to have that font as well. Copy that one, uh, make another anchor tag over here and place the font awesome HTML code over here. Save our work and we have that Telegram icon on our project. And right now, as you can see, uh, even if we scroll up or down, our element here is already staying in place. So all we have to do now is maybe improve our layout. Maybe we can arrange this vertically, right? And we know already how to utilize Flexbox, so we can use that. So let's head over to our style.css and probably in the UL tag over here. So here in our CSS, we can go ahead and 
target the div that is wrapping up our icons over here, right? It has a class of social media. So therefore over here, we can set a display of flex and then we can go ahead and justify content center. And we are going to say flex direction column. And there you have it. So you can have some adjustment here if you want. I think the spacing between the icons are quite wide. I can set this back to five pixels. Uh, maybe, all right, so just one value over there. And to ensure that uh, this div will not like overlap with this text over here, uh, one workaround is uh, we can actually uh, format the paragraph. Uh, maybe the section that is wrapping this paragraph, we can adjust the margin on that. So let's find the section. It's right over here. We can go ahead and set a margin or probably a padding. Padding right. And maybe let's try first 20 pixels. And let's scroll if there's like a word that will overlap this uh, social media icons. And I think we're good. So there you have it. That's how you can apply CDN, GS, font awesome icons, position fixed property in CSS in order to come up with something like this on your project. I hope that this has been informative for you. See you in the next one.